Hey, what's going on guys? Oscar Mini here, and this is a comparison video between the top of the Infinix Zero line, the Zero 8 here, and the top of the Note series, the Infinix Note 8. First off, both devices were launched two months apart, August and October, with the Zero 8 hovering around $300, 120,000 Naira, while you can get the Infinix Note 8 for about $225 or 90,400 Naira. Now, if you are here watching this video, you obviously want to find out if you would be good enough with what the Infinix Note 8 has to offer or whether you should get the Zero 8 for the extra 75 bucks. And I'm definitely going to help you make that right decision in this video. And so without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. First off with the boxes, you pretty much get about the same items and accessories such as the TPU cases, SIM ejector, paperwork, USB-C connector for both devices which is amazing coming from Infinix, earpiece and a screen protection film. While you get a 33W fast charger from the Zero 8, you are getting an 18W fast charger from the Infinix Note 8. Obviously not as fast as the Zero 8 here but it pretty much gets the job done. In terms of the build quality and design for these smartphones, well, let's talk about the build before design here. Both are made out of plastic, but I kind of prefer what's going on at the rear of the Zero 8 here as it has this matte finish to it. Unlike the glossy approach on the Note 8, which is a super fingerprint magnet. You could prevent the hand stamps and prints using the TPU case, but personally, I prefer rocking my devices without cases. Hence, the Zero 8 gets me here, and again, that's my preference. But in general, the build quality for both are solid. Now that the build is out of the way, let's talk about the design of the smartphone. Everything about the Zero 8 screams unique and it's nothing like you've seen before. From the pattern at the rear to the unconventional and bold camera design, this design makes a loud statement. This doesn't mean that the design of the Infinix Note 8 isn't great. It in fact is and a lot of people would love it. But the Zero 8 has this thing to the design that screams premium. Other aspects of the design are pretty much the same. Both are huge smartphones with dual camera configuration at the front, dual SIM trays with dedicated micro SD card slots to the left, volume rocker keys and a power button which doubles as a fingerprint sensor and both are super fast. While at the bottom you get the mouthpiece opening, 3.5mm audio port is actually retained here, USB-C for both devices and the down firing speaker grills in almost the same arrangement. So generally for the build and design, these devices are quite solid. Although my preference would be the Zero 8, you can go with either, I won't be wrong. Yeah, I mentioned speakers, let's backtrack to that. You get a louder and stereo configuration from the Infinix Note 8, while the Zero 8 here has just a downfiring speaker which can easily be blocked off. Sound quality wise, the Note 8 is the device to pick, but you are more than good enough with the quality from the Zero 8 as far as you do not block out the sound. The display on the smartphones is where the Zero 8 clearly takes the lead in pretty much a couple aspects which I'll touch on. First off, you get a full HD LCD panel from the Zero 8 at 6.85 inch screen size, but the Note 8 comes in a tad bit bigger by a tenth of an inch at 6.95 inches and a 720HD LCD panel. Okay, this means a lot as you would get over 130 more pixels per inch on the Infinix Zero 8 and that should mean better quality display by miles, right? Well, not really. Okay, here is the story. I had someone run a blind test on me while setting these two smartphones at 720p in a YouTube video playback. I had to pixel peep and got these devices pretty close to my eyes paused at several instances and couldn't see a difference in pixel quality except for the one device that had a tiny green tint to it and that was the Infinix Note 8. The only time you begin to notice a little difference in quality or display quality for a video is when you play back say the YouTube video at 1080p on the 08 and 720 on the Infinix Note 8. At this point it gets a little more evidence as to which of these has more pixels but definitely not by miles. The only area you begin to notice the major difference between these two panels is when you set the 08 to the 90Hz refresh rate, while the Note 8 remains at 60Hz. You begin to notice how scrolling through the menu and those sort of things look snappier on the 08. So generally, this, the Infinix 08 has better display. There's more pixels to push, higher refresh rate, and I tend to prefer the colors here after close inspection, but all this come at the expense of your battery life, which I'll talk more about later. But before then, let's take a look at the performance of the smartphones. You get the MediaTek Helio G90T on the Infinix 08, 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage, with this device running on Android 10 and XOS 6. While the Infinix Note 8 runs on the MediaTek Helio G80 chip, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, Android 10 and XOS 7. 
Of course, you would get better amplitude scores from the Infinix 08, but both devices are quite snappy, get you amazing user experience, and they run on the chipsets that are tailored towards gaming. For being able to run a lot of apps in the background, the 08 takes the lead all thanks to the more memory on here, and as far as speed, you have to give it up to the Infinix 08 yet again, as can be seen in the speed test. So let's talk batteries. Both devices can get you through the day, but the Infinix Note 8 here comes with an additional 700mAh when compared to the Infinix 08, that is 4500 for the 08 and 5200mAh for the Note 8. That 700mAh extra you get on the Note 8 makes a huge difference. I ran my usual battery drain test for these devices, I'll have the video linked in the description below. The Note 8 had an extra 2 hours battery life in that intense test and that makes a huge difference for day-to-day -day use. Reason being that the smaller battery on the 08 has to power a more hungry processor, more pixels on the display, and a higher refresh rate. So for battery life, the Infinix Note 8 is the better device you should pick. On the camera side of things, the Infinix 08 has a quad camera configuration with a 64 megapixel main lens, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. But on the Note 8, you get a 64 megapixel main lens, 2 megapixel macro, 2 megapixel depth sensor, and an AI camera for low light. For the front facing cameras, you get a dual camera configuration for both devices, but with more pixels on the 08, 48 megapixels and 8 megapixels ultra wide, while the Note 8 has a 60 megapixel main lens and 2 megapixel depth sensor. There are definitely better details from the 08 and better color rendition. As you can see in these photos, there is this warm tint to the Note 8, which makes the 08 more pleasing to the eyes. Shadows also suffer from the processing going on with the Note 8, as you can also get pictorial details from the shadows in the 08's shots. You also can see that though both devices might not give you the best subject to background separation, the 08 tries to make more meaning out of what the sensor provides. For videos, you can record up to 4K for both the rear and front camera on the 08, while the Note 8 maxes out at 2K. Colors yet again are better on the Note 8, and you get details in the shadows, better stabilization, and an overall better video quality. So guys, I'm trying to see how these two smartphones handle this bright sunset in front of me. It's really, really bright here. And um, to my left is the Infinix Note 8, while I have the Infinix 08 to the right here. Do let me know what you think about the sound quality coming off these devices, and also the color reproduction with the harsh light in front of me. What do you guys think about this video here? In terms of the cameras here, the 08 obviously takes the lead. Like I mentioned, you can get the Infinix 08 for about $300 or 120,000 Naira, while you get the Infinix Note 8 for $75 less, about $225 or 90,400 Naira, depends on where you look. Updated pricing information will be linked in the description box below. So guys, what's my final verdict on these devices? These smartphones or devices are actually made with different persons in mind. If you want the best value for money amongst these two smartphones, and you are someone who consumes a lot of media on your device, meaning you would want a lot of battery life and better sounding speakers or audio on the smartphone, you just care about getting good enough photos for your social media, and you need an all-rounder for these purposes, then the Infinix Note 8 might just be what you've been searching for. Yeah, the Note 8. But if you otherwise don't care about how much you spend on your smartphone and you want the best Infinix has to offer right now, better camera setup, a noticeable performance boost for everyday use, and a better display. Now, like I mentioned, the difference in display isn't a huge deal here. I mean, a lot of people out there want to really notice the difference between the refresh rates on the smartphones. And also bear in mind that you have a less battery experience or battery life on the Zero 08. If all these things aren't problems for you, you can go with the Infinix 08. But the fact remains that the Infinix Note 8 is the better value for money, in my opinion. So the choice is yours. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below which you prefer among the smartphones. I'm curious and would love to hear from you guys. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done those already. Other than that, it's goodbye, and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Koi date.